this video I am going to explain the bijection between maximal ideal and complex homomorphism. That means there is a canonical bijection, means unique bijection between the maximal ideals in a commutative unital Banach algebra capital X and its complex homomorphisms. That means if you give any ideals in a commutative unital Banach algebra X, <coughs> sorry, I can always give you a complex homomorphism whose kernel is your maximal ideal. And conversely, if you give me any complex homomorphism, I can always give you a maximal ideal which is given by the kernel of the homomorphism. So, this is our theorem. <coughs> so, let us prove the theorem. Let phi from x to c be any complex homomorphism. We show that car phi is a maximal ideal of x. So, since phi is a complex homomorphism, means it is a linear, complex, linear functional in C. So, since it is phi is linear, so phi of 0 is 0 and phi of e is 1. And 1 not equal to 0. Since phi of 0 is 0, so 0 belongs to kernel of phi. That means kernel of phi is non empty. And phi of and e belongs to capital X. Since e belongs to capital X and phi of e is non zero, so e does not belong to kernel of phi. That means kernel of phi and x are not same. So kernel of phi is not equal to phi. Kernel of phi is not equal to is non empty and not equal to x. Okay. Now we are going to show that kernel of phi is a proper ideal of x. So for for x comma y belongs to kernel of phi and r belongs to kernel r belongs to x we have phi of kx plus y equal to k into phi of x plus phi of y since phi is linear so k can be taken out and since x and y is in kernel of phi so phi x is 0 and phi y also 0 so k into 0 plus 0 equal to 0 since phi of kx plus y equal to 0 so kx plus y is in kernel of phi and phi of rx is phi of r into phi of x since x is in kernel so phi of x is 0 and equal to 0 so phi of rx equal to 0 that means rx belongs to kernel of phi since we are dealing with a commutative Banach algebra x. So if Rx belongs to kernel of phi, then automatically Xr also belongs to kernel of phi because X is a commutative Banach algebra and kernel of phi is subset of X. So car phi is a proper ideal of X. Now next job is to show it's a maximal ideal. For that, let J be any mix ideal of X such that kernel of phi is properly contained in J, which is subset of X. Okay. Choose A belongs to <coughs> J such that A does not belong to kernel of phi. Let X belongs to capital X be any banagal of x belongs to capital X be any element and since phi of a is not equal to 0 because a does not belong to kernel of phi so phi of a is non zero so we can write x as phi of x by phi of a into a plus x minus phi of x by phi of a into a okay. now phi of x minus phi x by phi a into a so it is since phi is linear so phi of x minus phi of x by phi of a into phi of a so phi of a and phi of a it cancel and phi of x minus phi of x is 0 so phi image of x minus phi x by 
phi a into a is 0 so x minus phi a x by phi a into a is in kernel of phi and <coughs> kernel of phi is subset of j so x minus phi x by phi a into a is in j and also <coughs> since a belongs to j and j is a max m ideal of x so phi x by phi a into a phi x by phi a into a is in j because phi x by phi a is in c and <coughs> j is a subset of uh, j is uh, sorry phi x by yes in the, is in c and j is a proper ideal so this phi x by phi a into a is in j and j is a subspace j is a subspace so x minus phi x by phi a and this sum is in j because j is a subspace so as a result x is in j now we are take small x from capital x and we get small x is in j so capital x is subset of j and here j is a subset of, subset of x so j and x are same so equal to x that means there does not exist any proper ideal which contains properly the kernel of phi. So kernel of phi is maximal ideal. <coughs> so what we prove? We prove the, uh, that there is a correspondence between between the complex homomorphism and the maximal ideal of x given by f of phi equal to kernel of phi each complex is in phi. Okay, so, rest part. Rest part is in the second video.